Hello there, and welcome to the 20th episode of the Life Debt Funko Pop Review. I'm your host, Johnny Orm, and today we're taking a look at the one, the only, the droid general himself, General Grievous. So, I got this a couple of years ago. Um, it's, uh, it was a limited edition, or no, limited it was a, an exclusive to some store. Uh, I got it through Forbidden Planet, if I remember correctly. Um, many, well, a few years ago, I got it when it came out. Um, and it's a pretty good looking Funko Pop. Um, I mean, instantly you take a look at it, it looks incredibly different to all the other kind of pops we are used to. Um, given the fact that General Grievous does not look like a standard character. Um, so let's take a quick and closer look at the good general. So we'll start with this face. So I love like the detail here. Um, just the, the scratches here. You can see like the, the, the scaly flesh of, you know, in under the mask there. Just the little details on the vocoder here and the um the the detailing on here looks really good and you can spin him round and you know the head just the the detail just carries on all the way around and it looks really good so there we go there's the head so we move down to the body and the neck I mean just there look at that that is like so detailed that is so spot on to the character and the design of the character it just looks phenomenal and you see like all this like the little technical bits inside the arms um and here I mean no if you yeah, we haven't got it so if you pulled it apart you'd see his innards but I think that's fine it's a figure <laughs> got two lightsabers, uh, the handles look to be the Obi-Wan slash Luke handles, or Luke from Return of the Jedi, um, but you know, we, we don't really get a cracking look at the lightsabers that he uses in the film, so, you know, I won't, I'm not gonna, like, chalk anything up to a lack of screen accuracy here, and just look at those feet, look at those legs, sorry about the dust, they just look really good, they look so spot on. The claws on the feet just look amazing. So well done. Um, the inside of the cloak, lovely shade of red, and if you turn him around, uh, cloak is cloak comes down to the bottom here. Now, something I found out about this pop is probably just a, a design flaw, maybe. Um, well, I'll just remove him from the base just a second so oh, if he'll come off that foot doesn't want to leave there we go so i mean if you look at the back up his up the back you know you can see some nice detailing in there as well which it really doesn't need to be seen as the back is covered um he stands quite nicely without the base as well which is quite shocking given the kind of the spindly design um even though it is an incredibly well detailed and accurate design it just looks pretty spindly for it to be able to do that um so how fun i've got around this is if you look at the um so you've got the two pegs here for the feet but we've got another peg at the back which was something i didn't realize um when i when i got it so I must have knocked it at some point, and I kept wondering why my Grievous kept bending. Like it just bent at the, in the legs, and it was like, oh, why is it doing that? And that's when I found out the three pegs instead of just the standard two. And so what I had was my Grievous was attached by the feet. If I can reattach him. But the, f the back peg on the cloak wasn't there, so it became very top heavy. It started to lean down. I thought, that looks really cool. That looks really sinister. And I realised that's probably going to break. So the cloak actually acts as a, a connector to the base as well, which I think is pretty impressive design. 
So there we have it folks, General Grievous Funko Pop. Um, you know, as you can see, it's a very nice looking figure. Um, uh, well detailed, not, you kind, not the kind of figure you'd expect from Funko. Uh, I mean, at the time it was kind of, it felt for me quite groundbreaking in terms of their designing. And, you know, I mean, we've seen in more recent, uh, with more some of the more recent figures and designs, you know, they, they really upped their game. So, um, it's a very nice looking figure. It's one, it definitely draws my eye when I'm in the, uh, in the office. Uh, I do, and I do like to kind of check this one out a bit more. So, um, totally worth it. Uh, so before I go, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. And if you wish to visit the blog, uh, you can do so at mystarslifedebt.tk or mystarslifedebt.wordpress.com. You can follow me on Twitter, um, at Life Debt Johnny. Uh, follow us, join our page on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Life Debt Blog Pod. You can visit our merch store, uh, the link of which is in the description. And if you'd like to contribute to the blog and podcast, well, the Life Debt Project, I should say, you can do so over at patreon.com forward slash My Style's Life Debt. Uh, so thank you once again for watching and punch it chewy.